cruise, 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 cruise control! Channel points, we're gonna upgrade yours. Roll the intro. Sandwiches, you came back, just like I knew you would. Thanks for being so awesome. And if you're new here, thanks for passing through. You thought I was gonna say hit that like button, subscribe, all that other jazz, but you haven't even seen the video yet, so why would you do any of that? You should, but I'll give you to a little bit later, so you know, you know, press the like, subscribe button, go to the Discord. Come see me on Twitch every Tuesday and Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Immerse yourself in the sandwich shenanigans. No one ever regrets it, and that's a guarantee. So without further ado, Let's use cruise control to make your channel points amazing. All right, so cruise control can sort of listen to certain things that are Twitch related. So we're gonna talk about the channel points and the hype trains today. And I'll give you good examples of the channel points, but the hype trains are sort of difficult to actually show without getting a hype train. So we'll assume that it works just like the channel points do. And I'll explain the differences between channel points and hype train and cruise control later on in the video. For all the first timers who haven't seen my old videos, go watch those. Cruise Control essentially works as a set of action and then reaction. Now Cruise Control will work with both Streamlabs OBS and OBS, so if you use the inferior slobs, you're, you're still okay here, all right? So just keep following along. Don't, don't click off the video, all right? Okay, let's jump into how we can make your channel points awesome. So channel point triggers are really, really fun. I mean, why wouldn't they be? If you've been to my stream ever, remember on Twitch, Tuesday, Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll see you there. You've probably seen my chat throw a random grenade for me while I'm playing Apex, or made me jump and spin around in a circle like a maniac, or even save my game for me. All of these things are done using Cruise Control and another tool called Stream Tool that helps us out. Check the original video here to see how Stream Tool and Cruise Control complement each other and expand the flexibility of your options that you have available to you. Now, as of right now, Cruise Control can only respond to channel points. It cannot perform any channel point actions. I would really wish Twitch would let us turn on or off certain channel points based off of the game that we're playing. Twitch, hello, please. Let us turn on and off our channel points remotely. You guys should all email Twitch with me and tell them that we should be able to turn on and off channel points. Uh, let me know when you've done that in the comments below. Appreciate you fighting the good fight. All right, so let's get into an example so that we can see exactly what I mean about channel point triggers with cruise control. I'm gonna set up one really, really simple and straightforward called hello. So essentially what I want to happen is I want chat to redeem a channel point reward. And on the screen, we can have one of four different videos of me coming up and saying hello, and it'll be randomized each time. So let's get into how to do that. Okie okay, doke, so here we are on Cruise Control. I got it on the left of the screen here. I'm using Notepad++, which is an excellent text editor. It uh, lets you know when you close brackets, when you close quotes, things like that. So you don't, you're less likely to make errors in your code, which is super handy. I'll put a link to the download for Notepad++ in the description below. So anyway, like I mentioned in my last video, which if you haven't seen yet, you should definitely go check it out. We commented some things out. So this is what a comment does. It, Cruise Control ignores the line when it when it starts off with the hashtag or the pound sign or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to start with a simple hello channel point. I just want to show you how this works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the trigger. So on channel point, again, referring back to the last video, you have to have the exact capitalization of the channel point here. So whatever you have your channel point in your Twitch dashboard set to, you have to have it also capitalized, punctuated, spaced the exact same way for cruise control to recognize what it's looking for. So this is how I have it set up in, in my Twitch. And then we're gonna do a series of events. I've set up four different videos that can play and I want them to play at random, but have an equal chance to play. So we're gonna use random equal, which we'll get into more of the documentation later, but this is another action that you can use with cruise control and then we're going to use our quotes and i have named the alert scene okay so we do obs scene source and then the name of the scene which is alerts in all caps caps matters here too and then the name of the alert which is hello cp1 
And then since it's a video in OBS, we want to turn it on. And now since we opened up a double quote here, we need to close up with a double quote at the end. Okay. So I'm going to fill in the other three videos. It's just the same thing, but it's hello CP two, three, and four. I'll do that real quick, speed it up and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got that all typed in. You can see that it's all one big line over here. It goes, we've got essentially the same thing going on here. This is the action we're looking for. It's gonna look through OBS, find a scene, alerts, find the source in that scene, which is gonna be our channel point video. It's gonna turn it on, okay? And so it's gonna pick one of these four at random and turn one on. Then you have to know about how long the videos are. So. I delayed, I want to delay like five seconds so that way the video is not cut off short. So we'll delay five seconds. Remember most of your integers here are gonna be seconds. After that, we want to make sure to turn them all off because we don't know which one we turned on. It's random, right? So cruise control doesn't really keep track of that, at least with this block of code that I'm writing here. And so I'm gonna to have to do all of this as four separate lines because we're just going to make sure that every single one of these videos are turned off. So essentially, we just copy this here, paste it in and change this to off. And I'm going to go ahead and do that for the next three. All right, so all of this should be off and then we'll change this to two, three and four. So this will ensure that Whichever video was turned on does get turned off. Okay, cool, good. And then we're gonna make cruise control just a little bit creepy. Well, technically it'll be your bot. Whatever account you have logged in as the bot, the cruise control is gonna be the one that seems a little creepy. So we'll put chat whisper. That sandwich smell is really, really good. May I have a bite? All right, so now this is the entire command. So again, real quick, let's go through and rehash everything. I'm gonna save cruise control first. So that way I know everything is saved, good to go. So essentially what we have here is we have the trigger, which is on a channel point, and it's gonna look for which specific channel point you have set up. So hello in this scenario. Then at random with equal probability, it's gonna turn on one source from whichever scene you've specified. So on my alert scene, I have four different videos. It's gonna pick one of those four videos, hello CP1, hello CP2, hello CP3, hello CP4, and turn one of them on, only one, not all four. Then it's gonna wait for the video to play, so delay five seconds, and then it will turn all four of those videos off, just to make sure whichever one got turned on randomly also gets turned off, okay? Great, then you should get, oh, actually, I'm sorry, I forgot a parameter here. Whichever user redeems the channel point, which again, like I mentioned in the last video, there are parameters that Cruise Control uses. So it'll find the user that redeemed the channel point and it'll whisper them, that sandwich smells really, really good. I mean, I have a bite. So he's gonna creep some people out. I wouldn't recommend doing this normally, but this is just to show you everything that Cruise Control can, can do with one simple action. Okay, so we save. Remember, you always have to restart Cruise Control. Whoops, sorry. So we KC reset, we got cruise control initialized, and then we're gonna go into the channel points. We're gonna type, see how this says hello? And it's capitalized, the capital H, everything else is lowercase, just like we put in cruise control. Capital H, everything else lowercase. All right, good. Now let's redeem this and see what happens. Two hours later. Haha, <laughs> okay. I see what happened. I did not put on at the end of each of these. Make sure you always finish the syntax. So I only put on on the first one. I didn't copy and paste on the second one. I forgot to type it. It's really late. I apologize. So I'm like super tired here. Um, anyway, now let's save. And now we can try cruise control. Reset it. Cruise control initialized. Good stuff. Hello. Boom. 
Shocked a lot of bang, bang. There you go. And if you look, we should have a bunch of different um, whispers here. Which we don't. That's okay. Maybe uh, Twitch was making sure that it doesn't spam the same thing over and over. Let's try it one more time. And that was a different video. So you can see it's picking one of the four at random and displaying it on the screen. I can't really show you how this works with hype trains or community goals because there's no way to actively test that while you're offline, unfortunately. So here's a clip from Crash Coic, and what's happening in this video is he has a bunch of filters and layers that are added on each time he gets a level up. So you can see Cruise Control reacts to the hype train level up, it adds more filters on, and it's just all around a really cool way to use hype trains. And you can do this in whatever way you want. This is just one way that I liked from Crash Coic, so make sure you check him out on Twitch. Links in the description below. Instead of having on channel point as your trigger, you would end up having something along the lines of, like here's your hype train. You would have like on hype train cooldown expired, on hype train conductor, uh, on hype train end, whatever. You can go through the documentation, see which one might work. There's different ones for community goals as well. But uh, that pretty much covers everything that I need to show you here in this video. So pretty darn cool. Pretty darn cool. Your channel points are going to be blowing people out of the water, okay? You can do so much with this. So much with this. Anyway, let's head back over there and uh, close this out. So that's about it for the video, guys. Without further ado, I just want to say thank you again for sticking through to the end. You know that you should put something in the comments at this point. You know, just say what you think my next child's name should be. I probably won't choose your name, but... Put it in the comments anyway. I'd like to hear it, okay? And uh, yeah, and then support the channel with the subscription, the likes, the comments. See me on Twitch, Discord, Twitter, Instagram. You know, TikTok. I, I mean, what else is there? There's just, I mean, it's it's all it's all there for you to to for you to decide if you want to, you know, just. Just like and, and, and share, tell your grandparents, tell your mom, tell your dad, tell everybody that you, that you see on the side of the street, you pass and you say, hey.